Your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Good Saturday morning, everybody. Starting off this morning with a pretty nice sunrise from Bays Mountain in Kingsport. A little bit of fog and a little bit of cloud cover in spots, but nothing too widespread. You see a little bit of fog there in the bottom part of your shot from Bays Mountain, and then the nice sunrise in the top part. Not a bad morning there with temperatures sitting at 49 degrees. Calm winds outside. Humidity around 97 percent, though, so feeling a little bit muggy outside. Although the dew point's only around 48 degrees or so, so not feeling very humid, just a little bit high humidity with that fog around this morning. Another shot from UVA Wise. You see the sun not up there yet. 717, our latest camera shot from there. The sun will rise very shortly, and I expect we'll have a pretty nice sunrise in Wise as well with temperatures around 59 degrees, 58 in Richlands, 57 in Marion, 55 in Abingdon this morning. And a few upper 40s to lower 50s across northeast Tennessee with 47 in Greenville and 50 in Rogersville this morning. Now, what are we tracking in the next couple of days? Really, some warmth some rain and some winter weather perhaps later in the week. Signs of winter are moving in later in the week, but first you're going to be wondering, is this really December? Because it's going to feel more like April outside with temperatures warming up into the 70s this weekend. Our severe threat tracker remaining in the low alert level for Saturday and Sunday, but rising into the medium alert level for Monday as the storm system approaches. Let's show you where that storm system is now and how it's going to impact. As you see across the area right now locally, nothing really out there, just a few bands of clouds moving through, but out towards the west. Notice the temperature difference. 68 in Memphis, 41 in Kansas City. That's along the frontal system that's going to head our way as we go into the day tomorrow and into the day on Monday. Ahead of it, though, nice mild weather for Sunday. Timbers warming up once again into the 70s, but look at all the rainfall heading our way. That's going to approach us as we go into Monday, eventually clearing the area later into Monday and into the day on Tuesday, resulting in some nice sunny weather, but before that we could see some gusty winds and we could see some heavy rainfall as well. We'll take a closer inspection of all this on future track through the weekend, seeing just a few clouds around, a few bands of clouds through the overnight hours, nothing really to worry about. And then as we go into Sunday, notice we start off the day with mostly sunny skies, a little bit of an increase in clouds late in the day, and a few showers possible, mainly along the higher elevations as we go later into the afternoon and evening hours, and then that rainfall starts to move in early Monday and later into the afternoon hours as as well. So for this afternoon, though, no rainfall expected. High temperatures town by town, topping off in the upper 60s to low 70s. 71 for the Tri Cities, 71 in Duffield. How about 67 in Jefferson, 66 in Boone, and 68 in Marion this afternoon. We'll say around 69 for Norton and 70 in Cumberland for the afternoon hours. Temperatures overnight dropping down into the upper, I uh, should say, upper 40s to low 50s. A little bit of a difference depending on where you're at. We'll say 44 for the Tri Cities in Abingdon, 45 in Lebanon. Around 45 in Boone to Jefferson and 46 in Mountain City. But notice as we go to the west, 50 in Norton and 48 in Clintwood. A little bit of a temperature inversion is going to set up. So the higher altitudes will actually be a little bit warmer tonight than some of our lower altitudes this afternoon. 46 in Cumberland. Check out your seven-day forecast. Temperatures topping off in the 70s once again tomorrow. And then 60s as we go into Monday. There's that rainfall. Windy conditions as well. After that, temperatures will drop as we go later into the week. 60s as we go into Tuesday, some upper 50s on Wednesday. Then I think we may see the slight chance of even a flurry move in late in the day on Thursday and into Friday. Now, models are trying to you know, go back and forth a little bit, and I don't think it's going to be that one just now. So Casey's guess is probably going to be out too. Christy oh. got eliminated last week. I'm sorry. So. Well, we'll have to enjoy the nice weather while we can. Enjoy it while you can. We may not see 70s for you know, next couple of weeks after this. And I'm not complaining. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend, so I'm Maybe. looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Ricky.